Quattro e quattro! <laughs> So uh, day one here in Sonora, Mexico. Um, we got in last night, uh, had quite an adventure. Flew in about one o'clock, I guess you can say, and then uh, we had to run some errands around town and um, head up here to the, the ranch where we're at. A long ways from the airport, probably, I don't know, 150 miles, 200 miles away. So it's 100% free range and it's probably hundred thousand acres I mean it is absolutely huge get off the main road and take a dirt road back here to the ranch and it took us probably hour and a half two hours on the dirt road to get back here uh, first day here in Sonora they've got some big deer um, it's a little difficult right now only one guy here speaks English but uh, Hugo which is the main guide he's coming tonight and he speaks very fluent English so uh, that'll help a lot but um, food was awesome last night had a great time slept great uh, we're up it's about 5:30 right now um, we're gonna head out here. We're gonna do a lot of high rack hunting today. Um, riding around looking at the bait side safe. Been seeing four or five really good bucks, so we're gonna ride around see what we see. Hopefully, you know, wait until we see a shooter. Um, hopefully, see some smaller deer first, so I can kind of practice and get the idea. Since I've never done any high rack hunting before, and uh, see how it goes. But I'm super excited. This is a great opportunity. Um, it's been very eye opening so far um, of how blessed we are in the United States, but. Uh, here with my dad and uh, he's gonna be filming me so stay tuned hopefully we get a big one down or at least get some good footage for you guys
Well, it's the uh, third morning here in Sonora. Going out again in the high rack this morning and we're gonna see what we can see. We're going the opposite way than we have been going. So we haven't been having a whole lot of success in the morning. We've seen some deer, a couple of bucks, but everything's been small. And a lot of our, our stuff in the afternoon, actually seen a really good buck last night. Uh, really, really close to being a shooter. Probably 160, 170 inch deer, but just not quite what we're looking for. Not quite what uh, Hugo and Rolando wants to shoot here. So you know, we'll just cover some ground and then we're gonna go back and sit at the, uh, they call it the water tank, which is where we were sitting last night. We've seen probably 15 deer there, three or four different bucks. So uh, cruise around this morning, see what we can see. And we'll go back there tonight. About to spark the rub up, going hot and cold, hot and cold. So hopefully we can see some chasing activity. They were starting to sniff some does last night. So I think it's about to get really good here. It's supposed to get better as the week goes on. And hopefully we can get one down here soon. So y'all stay tuned. All right, guys, well, it's uh, day five here in Sonora. Um, found it hard so far, uh, really hard. So we've uh, seen a couple of decent deer so far, just 150 to 170, uh, probably being the biggest, and just not really what, you know, they're wanting us to shoot yet. So we've we've let a couple walk through or four, I think, and uh, going out this morning, hopefully, we're probably gonna lower the standard a little bit these last two days and see what we can get. But gonna go right around in the high rack this morning and then sit again this afternoon and see what happens. So y'all stay tuned.
就会刮之后。<笑>My first ever desert mule deer. Um, we shot them last night. Um, came out probably like 25 minutes before dark. Uh, so we got some quick picks and stuff, uh, but decided to come out here and take some more and do the interview this morning. So just a great deer. Um, super blessed. We actually uh, passed this deer earlier in the week. Um, seen them the second afternoon and really liked them then, but uh, had some pictures of a couple that were a little bit bigger than him. So uh, we elected to pass, but knew he was a mature deer and um, he'd been coming in in the daylight pretty often, so we knew we might get another another opportunity at him. And last night was our last night hunting, so he came out and uh, Rolando told me to shoot, so I went ahead and, and, and took him. Um, it's extremely blessed. I think he's probably six or seven years old, so just a massive deer. He's got a big body, um, good mass, got good deep forks, so couldn't be more grateful. Um, just want to thank Hugo and HR Big Game Outfitters for allowing me and my dad to come out here. Um, it's been an awesome time just from everything from the the food um to the experience you know if you've never been to mexico before or sonora this is definitely a place to come and hunt uh, people are great um it's truly a once in a lifetime experience and um, just to be able to do it with my dad with him here filming is, is awesome so i'm super super thankful and can't wait to get this guy home so i uh, had a great time here and um, hopefully we get to come back some more so <laughs> Bueno. <laughs>